Howdy folks, Mountain View Russ, here in Mountain View, Arkansas, so you may be wondering what you're looking at here. This is a RV slide uh, seal, gasket seal kit. You got the, what would be the wipe that would go on, that would wipe the edge of the slide. And then on the other side, how well the light is, it's got a channel that you lock the actual seal onto. So this would be applied to the slide. And then this piece here, which is falling all over the place, is your D, D shape seal. And it's got a little uh, track underneath here that you slide over that uh, seal on this side. It's got the little tracks. And then it's got the, uh, you know, the, the tape on the back side, seal it on. Kind of looks like that uh, Scotch very high bond VHB, I think it is. So let me show you what I got this for. So many of you who have been building cargo trailers may have experienced this. I happen to have barn doors, but I'd be willing to bet even the drop down ramp door, you may be able to see the water staining. Going down here, and you can particularly see it here at the bottom. And while they do, uh, they put do put an adhesive. It's about a half inch uh, rubber trim on it. They don't really uh, put a lot of effort into it or worry about sealing. You can see on this corner that the uh, I'll move the ladder here so I can get up here. that they cut it off, you know, two inches short of the edge. This one, two inches short. You know, this is a double stick tape I'd put up there because this stuff was coming loose a couple of months after I bought this thing. So anyway, I've just uh, kind of ignored it uh, during the build, but, you know, I've got a lot of expensive gear back here in the garage, so I need to keep the water out. So what I've decided, uh, the centers where the doors meet in the center has this, and that seems to, well, it has this, and that seems to be sealing. They put it on both doors, so it's a double layer of it, and that seems to be doing fine. And then on the bottom, they've run it all the way across, and, and really, I'm, I'm not super concerned about the bottom, but... I guess water could splash back up there. So here's what I'm doing. Uh, again, everything's black, so it's kind of hard to see. So I've, I'm taking the wiper portion of it, which is this right here, and I've trimmed the wipe off because I really don't need that. And then I'm sticking it all the way across the door, so I'm going to go uh, the full width of both doors closed instead of leaving this gap and then I, I cut it a little long just so I could trim it once it was up here just so I didn't make that mistake uh, wiped everything down with alcohol I've got the kind of the undercoat texture on here and uh, first thought about grinding it down to get a flat surface and then I thought no nope, I'll just promote rust so I'm leaving it there I wiped it down with alcohol and then I'm using this adhesion tape, and it seems to be doing a good job. It's stuck good, but I'm going to go through here about, I don't know, every 18 inches and run a self-tapping steel screw in here because that demolding will go on top, so it won't, won't get in the way. So I just got started when I decided I probably ought to be videotaping this uh, in case this works for somebody else. But you can see uh, what I did. And you can see here, I stopped. Again, it's kind of hard, black on black, but I'm like an inch over so that the trim on this side will uh, catch this outer seal of the door. Well, actually, this seal here. So I'm going to pull all this off, I think. Now I'm going to pull it off because uh, this gap here, that's going to create an opening even when it squished down to the new seal 
just a tiny opening and the water's in. So I'm going to take all this off except for the bottom and then the center sections here, which is, is going top to bottom. So I'm going to leave that be. I'll get back with you as I make further progress. So I've got the uh, top seal on and I'll open the doors up in a minute and show you how I did that. But you can see the problem there. You can see the gap. And that was the problem with their original trim. This door is wider, the gap at the top, than it is the bottom. If you come down to the bottom here, it's uh, about a half inch. You can see that. Kind of hard to get lighting right on that. And it goes up to almost an inch here, but I do have a seal. Another problem is they, they set the door in place with too much of a gap at the top. And on the bottom, it's almost sitting on the floor. Well, the floor that I've added on top, I've doubled up the, the floor size with foam and stuff. So they didn't do a good job of, uh, yeah, and the shame on the covered wagon. If you see this, you might look at that. Or, or if you're having one custom built for any manufacturer, you might just let them know, hey, I'm going to make this a cargo trailer, be sure, or a, uh, an RV. Be sure you set these doors in to where they seal good. So let me open the doors up and I'll show you some more. So attaching it and sliding the seal on went well. I, uh, I just put some uh, lithium grease on the track before I started sliding this rubber piece on. And this piece is eight foot long, but I, I got it on by myself just fine. Just had to move back and forth. Anyway, this is what I'm talking about. You can see the edge of the door is only coming halfway up on this seal. And this is actually the where I got my finger at the bottom of the door open. So you can see it's got about maybe a quarter inch overlap. Uh, and if you look down there, you can see the the size of the gap between the bottom of my seal and the top of the door trim. So when I put this uh, track on, which is underneath, you might be able to see it. Uh, you know, I stuck it up with the self-adhesive tape, and then I put uh, three screws on each side, just self-tapping metal screws, just kind of help hold it in place. You know, the doors are going to be closed 90% of the time, so it's not going to go anywhere. One thing I may do to help with that uh, top seal problem is go ahead and get some uh, brand new uh, rubber seal, maybe a quarter inch thick. See if I can get some, you know, an, if, an inch and a half tall and go on ahead and adhere it to this so when it so when it closes, it would touch uh, further up on this seal. Uh, for now, I just pulled the old trim off and took a wire brush to clean the old glue up. And we'll see. I'll get a hard rain here soon, I'm sure, and we'll see if we get any more water through. I wanted to show you another thing about the hinge, uh, which is a big part of the problem. So as I showed you, there's a giant gap at the top, and Part of the issue is this hinge. It's kind of hard to tell, probably on video, but it's not seated flat to start with. And then this beam it's mounted to is bent in. So it's keeping this hinge from pulling the door all the way up. From the inside, I kind of notice it's hard to tell, but I can tell that this beam here is tweaked up near that top two hinges. It's actually bent in. So it's, uh, and probably what happened when they were mounting the door, somebody was careless and they, they tweaked it and pulled it in too hard and just bent that beam. So I think I'm gonna try to uh, get something on that beam because it's just a hollow beam. Uh, it's a kind of a C-shaped beam. I'm gonna try to get some kind of tool on that and see if I can't tweak it back out and square it up. Down here, going to the bottom, that seems to be pretty square. Another thing I may do is, uh, is pull these bolts loose.
from the inside is carriage bolts and the, this is a you know like a female nut bolt kind of situation uh, pull them loose from the at least the top hinge up here if uh if tweaking that beam doesn't get it and maybe pull that hinge loose and make an adapter to go underneath it you know maybe a quarter inch thick uh, sheet of aluminum to uh, you know the same uh, outline as that put it underneath and then torque it back down in other words push the door back in toward the chassis or the body a, a quarter inch see if that helps so I tried uh, putting a big pipe wrench on this and trying to tweak this beam here out and get it a little more straight, but it was a no-go. It, it wasn't budging. I didn't want to put a cheater bar on it and risk breaking one of these welds up here. So, uh, you know, I'm just going to go with the thicker seal. Like I said, I'll probably add another seal on the inside of this that actually overlaps maybe a quarter inch comes out uh, yeah i might try to fix this hinge it seems to be not snug down but you know they got these crazy uh torx bits the uh security bits or, or pattern whatever you call that i think i think you can buy these online i just don't happen to have any i may order a set and pull those out and see if i can get it to lay down better i'm not quite sure maybe it just needs to snug up some maybe that's all it needs okay so i'm all done i call it a success if uh if you watch the beginning of the video and didn't skip ahead you would recognize that that big silver gap is no longer there yeah the door is uh still not parallel with the back of the body but I don't quite know what to do to try to fix that. But this is a, a one inch D uh, seal with a track that goes on. So it's, it's about a one and a quarter inch thick. So it can cover that whole gap all the way and it compressed all the way down to the half inch at the bottom. I run a single piece all the way across the top so there wouldn't be a gap. And I went ahead and I don't know if you can see from here, uh, but I, uh, Kind of hard to do that. I uh, plugged up the end of each end with some black butyl tape just to keep water from getting in there and staying in there. Uh, the the uh, vertical ones I did not. Uh, I left them down here and open so the water can flow out if it gets in there. I also had to put a little curve on the end. I know you can't see it from here and I'm not getting the ladder out, but I put a little curve on the end of the vertical piece so it would kind of uh, overlap kind of like you uh, cope a piece of uh, quarter round you know in a house so I kind of coped it to go around that top seal uh, you know there's some gaps uh, driving rain water a uh, little bit's going to get past that uh, but nothing like it was I might even put some Lexol up there if I see water coming through. So anyway, you can't see anything. Everything's black. But I just want to let you know I did get that done. That works good. So any of y'all have uh, these doors, whether they're barn doors or even uh, the ramp door, that's a pretty good chance that uh, yours doesn't seal up any tighter than mine did. Uh, so that's a possible solution for you. And I had mentioned earlier about talking to your builder. Uh, obviously, I... Uh, I did, well, not obvious. I didn't buy this uh, off site just uh, from a trailer dealer. I went to a dealer, uh, load and go trailer up in Omaha, Arkansas. Looked at a rig just like this and then, uh, you know, put my specs into it and then uh, had it uh, spec'd out for me. So if you do that, you could just make a note and tell them, be sure these doors seal properly because it's going to be a living space and maybe maybe they'll do it maybe not maybe they'll charge you who knows anyway that's it i uh, hope you find this interesting and helpful appreciate you watching